ODU hosting Florida Atlantic tonight, and all I can say is welcome back Xavier Green. Just like the old days for Green in the Monarchs win. He did have some help. Let's take a look at that first. Austin Trace working the baseline. He is relentless. He's not fancy. Jeff Jones told me after the game he's fine with that as long as he keeps scoring like that. Lots of points from the ODU bench tonight, 29 of them. Jalen Hunter, this is all first half action. And then we get to Green. He had 16 points tonight, uh, and they were leading by three at halftime. This is the same Xavier Green who two years ago was one of the top scorers on the team, was a go-to guy. He has struggled to find the range ever since then. But he was on tonight at his six boards, four assists, and in the second half they put him on the top score for the Owls, and he shut him down. Great night for Xavier Green. ODU kept picking leads and, and the Owls kept making the runs, but ODU kept answering those runs. This is Trice again. Yeah, that's the way to end it. Monarchs 17, a, a game high for Trice. The Monarchs win it 71-67. Uh, it feels great, man. You know, I've been battling, you know what I'm saying? Just getting up more shots every day, finding a way, just trying to find something to get my spark going, you know, get back to what I used to do, man. And it just feels great. It feels good to be out there with my guys and get this win looked confident he didn't hesitate uh and uh you know we've we've been waiting for that and he's capable of doing that um w for whatever reason it hasn't been there i'm i'm just happy that uh you know he was able to to break out of it 